What is up everyone? Today we're installing a LED underglow kit on the Yamaha R7. I'm going to try my best to make this as detailed as possible so it's as easy as possible for you to install these lights if you decide to do it for your Yamaha R7. I guess this would probably work for other bikes as well. It would be same idea, just different setup maybe. But this is the kit that I'm using for my bike. I'll chuck a link in the description if you want to go grab some. And yeah, let's get started. I'm going to unbox the LEDs to start with. Probably don't need to use a manual, maybe. I'll do a quick rundown of the cables also in case you're confused with them ones. So it just starts with like these two cords here, which will plug into like each part of the LEDs because they're like separate pieces. So then you can just connect that instead of having like 12 different wires going to like the battery it's just a bit cleaner to just have it go into like the one like that and then that just like leads down and then you plug that cord into the box piece and then from there you've got a little on and off switch which you can just sit in like the back part like the rear seat to just turn the leds on and off when you want to obviously you can control the leds with the app on your phone, which you can download using that QR code there. But if you're not riding your bike, like if you're gonna leave it during the day or during the night or whatever, if you're not on your bike, just make sure this is off. Otherwise it will drain your battery. Don't just turn it off at the app. Make sure you have it off completely. Yeah, obviously just M2 cords, which need to get connected to the battery, which I will do now. Obviously for the next step, you just got like your two battery cords there. Just hook up both of these onto the cables and then obviously just use like the wire crimper things to squeeze them on tight and then onto undoing your battery. First thing we need to do is take off both of the seats, pop out both of these pins using the corner of the Allen key. Just give that shit like a little wiggle if you've never taken it off before and it will come out like that. Sometimes these ones can be a little bit tight, but just put enough pressure in there and rotate them anti-clockwise. Now you should be able to just pull the seat out like that. Now that you've got the seat off, you're just gonna take off this metal frame here. So there's like three screws on each side. Pretty sure that's all of them to just be able to take this off so you can get full access to the battery to hook the cords up. Okay, so for this part, don't undo that fully. Cause like under each part of the battery, if you haven't taken these off before, there's like, the little nut under it falls to the bottom and you need to like hold it up to be able to screw the screw back in, which is an absolute pain in the ass. So if you can just undo it a little bit, but keep it connected to the screw so it doesn't fall all the way down, then we should be good to just hook up the new cord. The little, and now we're just gonna do the exact same on the other side. All right, so this is the part to turn the whole LED set off. I'm just gonna put my one like just up under here and hide it under this back seat. So then that way it's only a simple like back seat to take off when you need to turn them on and off. Just sit it right there. So then that way it'll be under. Both sets of the LEDs have six pieces on each, like two small, two medium and two large. So I'm just gonna use one for the back and then like the other one can go for the front of the bike. I'm going to use some alcohol wipes for each part where I put the LED lights, just so then that way they're more likely to stick. The two smallest ones, which I'm going to put just at the back under the tail on each side, you can just like unplug them from the main thing so you don't have to carry all the cords around and then you can just connect them up later. But for this back tail, obviously I got them like under here and then for the cable, you can just tuck it up under and there's legit like a perfect little gap right here, which then like leads down under the seat, under the other frame. I'll do that in a second. And then which can connect up down here and that will literally be like not even noticeable like at all. It's going to be very clean. And so when I do clean my bike, I don't clean. All right, that one looks good. I'm going to just push it in firmly now for this next piece i'm just going to put it like run it straight down this metal bar on each side this has like a little clip thing like hanging out on that side a piece of metal which i'm just going to stick it over the top because i feel like if i do it like if i take this off and put the leds under i don't want it to like 
dig into these and then if like water runs down it might like completely fuck them up so I'm just going to run it over the top on this side the other side's fine it's like really easy there's nothing in the way on that side and then I just got the cords coming up under here literally so simple for the cables on this side just like straight under I'm just going to do the same as before wipe it down with the alcohol pads and stick them on Just hide the start of them up there. Get it lined up to how you want it. You can kind of like fold them a bit. They're like pretty well sort of flexible, which is pretty good. But that looks fucking sick. This side's lined up really well. Hopefully the other side doesn't have any issues. So for the cable management on these ones, obviously it's like going up under that frame there. And I've just got it tucked straight under here on both sides. So far, I've only used the two, two small LEDs and the two bigger ones. Just grab like that connector piece and plug it into the part that's connected to the box. Like that. Obviously all this stuff's like still messy as, I haven't sorted any of that out yet. And then once you put that connector together, you got like the bunch of cords which connect to all the back ones. And obviously there's like the single <coughs> side as well. So then just connect that up as well. And then now that way you can use these cords to just plug into all the LEDs that you just put at the back of the bike. Just plugging in all of the ones that I've connected so far. Just like that. So that's the ones that I've done so far just at the back there. And these other two will be for the other two LEDs if I decide to put them in the middle of the bike somewhere. But I'm just going to leave them hanging out for now and get started with the front side LEDs until I decide where I want the middle LEDs to go. For this next part, I'm just going to use the two bigger strips and I'm just gonna run them down like each side of the front part, like from up here down to there, just like on each side. So there's lights at the front cause them ones look fucking sick once they're on, so. Same as before. Just giving them a wipe the area with alcohol wipes because that part is actually full of fucking muddy. So that's how the front ones are looking. If you can see them, probably not. But yeah, they're just like running down the sides of there, like both sides on that one. The cables for this one are pretty easy as well. If you just like have a look up under there, you probably can't see on camera. But just run them up through there and just like bring them out the gap over here. So I've decided for this next piece that I'm going to put it in, use a small one and put it like down that part in there. I took off this top fairing part just to get the cord out so you can see where it's going and stuff. Um, but yeah, so I just got it there on the R7 is this like other cords that sit there, so I'm just gonna put it on the other side. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot there, which it shouldn't, then I just ran the cord up. That one is all stuck on, like that. Gonna get the other side done now. This side was kind of easier. Obviously just put it in like the same spot, just here. Just make sure you push them down, like hold them down. Sort of thing, once you got them in the position that you want. So they're stuck, but you definitely need to just take the fairing off for this side as well. Same as the other side, there's like three little pop screws and a normal screw thing. Very simple to get out. But then once you got it out, there's like a rubber thingy like just here. I just lifted it up from the top. It's like pulled it up and then pushed the cord from under straight out the top there. And it's just sitting out the side here next to the other cord from the front. Legit spent like an hour just sitting here trying to decide where to put the last couple of lights. 
because I've got obviously the ones at the back and stuff. I've got heaps in the upper, I just didn't have many on the lower. So I've decided to use the medium strips and to just place them on like the bottom fairing there. And on this side, I've got the cable running up. I'm gonna zip tie it to the other cables, run it up through here, and then it comes out up here, connecting to the back set. And then on this other side, I've got the cable coming down, but it's coming out from like the front, and I'm just gonna put it on the fairing there as well. And that one just runs up past the other LED there and out the top and connecting to the bunch that I've got set up at the front for all the other lights at the front as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna connect them up, chuck them on, and then I'm just gonna have like two left, but I don't really have any space for them on the bike anyways, I don't think. So it should be fine with how it is. This is like honestly taking way longer than it should have. Probably, I guess I didn't really know what I was doing anyways, to be honest. But that's why I'm making this video. So it doesn't take you this long to do the same thing. Legit spent so long doing this shit today. I reckon these bottom ones are gonna look so good, like especially if you're going down the highway or some shit, like the LED is just glowing like back onto the road type thing. The fairings are different, so it's like kind of annoying <laughs> that they aren't matching completely, I guess, but you're only gonna see one side of the bike at a time anyways, so you're not gonna know the difference, I guess. So don't stress too much. Surely I didn't do this fucking... <laughs> Fuck. So, it's the next day and I had a slight issue yesterday afternoon when I was doing the LEDs. So, with like the stock, how I put these fucking thingies on there that you're meant to connect to the battery. I don't know if you're even able to see them from that far back. But like, them things. So... With like the, the LEDs, how they come, there's only like a little bit of wire hanging out and I thought it would be sweet. So I like put them in there and clamped it on. But obviously it like doesn't get enough connection to work that way. So I had to go and get a better pair of these. And then I cut the wire back and then like made it like heaps longer and then folded it over and then put it in and then squished it and put it back on the battery and it worked straight away. So everything is sorted now. Um, the cable management's okay, I guess. It's still pretty messy just because of how many there are. But I'll give you a quick show you around the bike real quick where I ended up putting the cords. So obviously I got the two at the back under the tail and then under here I went with two on the bars there, like one each side. And then... The last ones I put down here and the one on this side, obviously I went like here and I ran the cable up this way, like in through there and I connected it to the back bunch of cables and then just the one that's, uh, which is connected to the front lot. And then obviously there's like the two under the front. Under there as well, if you can see them. And then it's the same on this side, pretty much, just like the one in the middle there. And I went with another one at the bottom. And that one runs up this way, past that one and up to the front connections. And that's basically it. So it's pretty messy in here now, but tried to make them as neat as possible. Uh, apparently this blue cord also is to connect to your brake line so then when you brake all the LEDs will go red from whatever colour they are which is kind of cool but I can't be fucked hooking that up so and I also don't think I really want it to do that so I'm just going to leave it how it is and it's not used I just put some tape over it just to 
make sure it's not going to cause any issues in there with all the other stuff. And yeah, it's daytime currently, but I'll start the bike anyway so you can see how it's looking. So I got the little switch in here. Obviously, once you tap it, it'll go red because it's actually getting power now. And then all the LEDs will be on. Obviously, it looks fucking way better at night time, but... Obviously, you just got to put your bike back together and you're all good to go. Thanks for watching the video. I hope I simplified it and made it as detailed as possible so you don't have the same issues as me when you install the LEDs. Uh, obviously, I'll chuck a link in the description if you want to go get this same set of LEDs to keep it simple, I guess. After watching this video, you'll know how to use that bunch now. So uh, you should be fine. I guess drop a like, sub, whatever.